What's going on, everybody? So, we're out here at the first spot for the day. Right now, I've been stopped up. And the weather's been off and on all week. Well, since the beginning of the week. What was that? I thought I just heard a woman yell help. But we're going to take a look around here and see what's here. The spot is really close. We were at Walmart, decided to run the app, and it put us at a spot right beside it. So I figured, why not check it out? But my cousin's already down here, so let's see what's here. Now, according to Randonautica, or at least the maps, there was a road beside Walmart, well, a road beside the Walmart road, and it led to over here. A little drainage pond. And they just built apartments back here. So this is behind the apartments and behind the Walmart. My cousin's back in there checking. I'll walk right here to the top of this little hill. As you can see, right there's Walmart. What'd you find? Nothing. No, I was, I was like, he's down there looking at it. <laughs> Ain't seen nothing. I've been looking. There are a lot of area <coughs> that four over there. Yeah. But, yeah. Good. I know there was spots back in there. You could see like walking paths going back to and stuff. All kinds of spots back here that go back into the woods and stuff, but the the marker was just off of the parking lot. Seen a bunch of trash there, but And a tire. Alright, let's hit up another spot. Alright, so we ran the app about four or five times and it took us way out to BFE. But it did take us to a couple abandoned houses. The driveways were blocked off, nowhere to park. So I'm going to look into those places and maybe end up going back. But I didn't have any GPS signal, so we came back into town, ran the app. And it brought us out here to a big, empty, abandoned parking lot that sits behind uh, Aldi's. I don't see anything out here. We're going to try to run the app one more time before the, the end of the day. And uh, I'll probably be back out again tomorrow, run the app, and uh, see where else it takes us. So. I'll catch you at the next location. I'm at the last spot we're gonna do for the day. And it actually brought us to another place behind a, another store, so. This week must be all about the stores. But we'll have a look around here real quick and see what's here.
box full of nothing. takes us to. so bad. I just heard something hiss or growl at me. I'll tell you what, this will be a spot where I come back to. <coughs> As you can tell, the house is burnt. It's kind of fire. I'm walking back up here. I want to take out this house a little bit more. But I'm by myself, so I probably won't go in. And the reason for it 
I might go in when I have somebody else with me. But but there's a lot of transients that are in and out of this way. I'm not trying to get robbed today. So I'm probably just gonna take a look around the outside again. I wanna go all the way around. Might have a quick peek inside, but I'll definitely come back here and do another explore or soon. Place is trashed. Let's take a look at the front real quick. Neighbors are real close. I wonder how long it's been abandoned for. As you can see there, it's caught on fire. Yeah, that looks like it used to be a nice big old house. Oh yeah, it's destroyed. Door is wide open. Full of stuff. The garage actually has a room on it as well. You definitely tell it was a beautiful house though back in the day. Looks like it had a pole. Like there is. There's the, the pole. Looks like it had a tennis court or a basketball court as well.
statue or something over here. Like I said, I just wanted to get a quick in and out of here. I hear people. Now the rest of it I'll come back and I'll check out inside and stuff and see what's here. But it'll be at a later time. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Next time we'll come back and we'll actually take a peek inside and see what's all left inside. The house has been ravaged not only by fire but by vandalism as well. And like I said, the paths on the back side of the property are from transients walking back and forth through here. So it definitely isn't a safe place. But I'd like to explore the property a little bit more. But I'd like to explore the property a little bit more and see what's all here. And maybe get some better shots as well. But I hope you enjoy the video. Remember, knowledge is power. Never limit yourself. Stay safe and keep exploring. I'll see you next Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.